So thanks everyone. We're with Maya today. Um, just wanted a quick reminder that this press conference is embargoed until tomorrow midday. And we will start with Anton. Hi, man. Nice to see you. Uh, you too. Um, look, obviously I know you're starting pretty much your, your international sort of journey, but there's one issue that's dominating kind of the international break at the moment, and that's the situation going on with the, with the Spain players. How sad is it as a fellow professional to see the players put in that position and what have you made of the situation? Yeah, I think it's obviously not ideal. Um, obviously, the world champions and you see what's happening. There's not really any anything celebrating their success. And I think that's what we should be, that's what we should be celebrating. But um, of course, there's bigger issues going on that need to be sorted. And um, yeah, for me and I think the rest of the players at England, we kind of stand in sort of solidarity with, with Spain and um, yeah, it's not nice to see, but um, they're amazing players and, and we just support them as best as we can. But um, yeah, there's a lot that needs to be done to help this issue. When you see situations like that, does it make you grateful for what you have as a, as a professional with your club and, and with country? Yeah, definitely. I think even as a young player coming through, I know obviously the older players, they've been through a lot more than, than, I, might have, than I might have. And um, yeah. As young players, we really respect that and um, understand that it hasn't been easy for the, the older players. And I think that's what's great about this team. You know, there's such a mix of different ages and um, we kind of want to thank them by our performances on the pitch and um, just help the game grow forward. So, um, yeah, I think it definitely shines a light of, on what's uh, still to come with the women's game. And hopefully, obviously, we'll fight for everything. And um, I think that's what we've done as a team and what I can see from our leadership group and I think I take a lot of inspiration from what they do. Mate, talk to me about your summer, if you don't mind. Obviously, heavily involved in the build-up, but obviously had to leave the squads as the tournament sort of kicked off. So how did it feel? Yeah, I think it was bittersweet. Um, I loved Australia. I loved being with the girls. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed my experience out there and it's such a cool country. Um, and just to kind of be a small part of, of the girls' preparation going into the tournament, um, it's definitely made me more hungry to kind of be selected for the next tournaments to come. But um, yeah, obviously it was it was devastating when I got the call that I wasn't selected in the 23. But there was nothing else I could really do apart from be as good as I could for the team and um, try and put myself in the best place I could, um, helping them prepare for the World Cup. Yeah, it sounds like you've got a taste for it now. So yeah. what have you got to do to make sure that you'll be there in two years' time? Yeah, I think just keep playing well and doing well for United. Um, doing well when I'm here and... Um, yeah, just hopefully be a big part of the team um, in years to come and I think I can look at the players that are playing now and take a lot from their books and just see how I can how I can develop a thing. I've still got a long way to go. So, um, yeah, it's exciting to see what happens in the future. Thank you. Hi, Mayor. Just a question on the uh, Nations League. Obviously, this week is the beginning of a, a new competition. For you, as a young player trying to break through into the England team and get as much game time as possible, it, this feels to me like it should be the, the ideal competition for you because it's competitive matches. It's not crucial matches, so you, you are likely to get game time. But equally, they're competitive matches. If you impress Serena, your coaching staff will, uh, her coaching staff will probably be taking note of that, won't they? Yeah, definitely. I think it's just another opportunity to showcase everyone's abilities, um, whether they've been in the team for a long time or whether they're like me and just trying to break through. Um, but of, of course, we want to win the Nations League and um, we don't ever participate in, in a tournament just to, you know, get players minutes. That's not what we're here for. And it's obviously big about the qualifications for the Olympics as well. So, um, yeah, we'll be doing the, our best to, to win these games, these next two games coming up. And, yeah, we'll see where it leads to. What's the culture of the... Uh the England first team like what's it like coming into it yeah it's it's really nice I think my first camp was November last year and I think we've just built in and the girls have been like fantastic and even being as a standby player for the World Cup like you would never have known I think from the outside that we were standby players and um, the team and the staff have been fantastic with us and um, just made us feel as welcome as possible and yeah it's been really good and as I said before there's a lot of kind of different ages as well so um, yeah, we can get to know each other. Obviously, we play against each other week in, week out. So um, it's really good that we can build lots of relationships within the team. And finally, from me, looking on the, the World Cup, I'm sure you were, you were supporting England like everyone else. Um, how, mu how important is it for you that you kind of block out on the calendar to the tournament in two years' time, the Euros in Switzerland? How, how desperate are you to be at that? 
yeah, I think extremely desperate, but it's in two years. There's a lot that can happen in two years and um, I just need to focus on, on playing football and getting better. Um, I'm still young, so I've got a lot of lot of things to learn and to improve on. So if I can do that, um, that will put myself in the best place um, to be selected. But um, of course, I'm not focusing on that now. I'm just focusing on, on the present and um, doing the, doing well these next two games of England and starting the WSL season too. Good luck. Thank Tom, you. behind. Thanks. Can I just ask you, please, um, what sort of things Serena's spoke to you about working on in this camp? Are there any things that you're targeting to improve in these next sort of 10 days? Um, I mean, we've only been on the pitch together for a day, so uh, we can't do too much within a day. But um, it's just about getting the team back together, of course. A lot of the girls haven't had much rest, so um, I think it's just easing in and um, just seeing how far we can go in Nations League. And, of course, we want to we wanna go as far as we can in this tournament. And, um, yeah, just kind of performing on our best abilities and, and kind of how we like to play the game too so um, yeah just to go out, go out and, and enjoy it especially against Scotland and the Netherlands and, and for you personally is there anything that you think the, the manager is hoping to see from you or that you're particularly trying to impress with um, just like just how I play football to be honest like I don't really go into any training session thinking oh I'm going to do this many skills to show Serena what I can do it's not what I'm. It's not what I'm about, and um, yeah, I try as hard as I can in every training session, and just to see see how good I can get. And um, as I said, learning a lot from the se- learning a lot from the senior players. You know, they're European champions, and they just got to a World Cup final. So um, yeah, I'm very inspired, obviously, by the rest of the team. And um, yeah, I just like to perform day on day out as as well as I can, as consistently. Thank you, Charlotte. Hi, Amir. Um, just wanted to ask how your pre-season has been. Obviously, you had a break from the World Cup, coming back into United. How how did you feel during pre-season? How did it go? Yeah, good. Um, so it's good to be back on the ball and, you know, in a different environment. And, of course, I love playing football. So I um, was, was back on it straight away after Australia. Um, yeah, of course, with all the World Cup girls coming back now, it's it's been a little bit easier to kind of build. And we've had a lot of new, new signings as well. So... It's just about kind of integrating them into the team and um, seeing what they can bring to the team as well. And um, yeah, I think it's very exciting for the first game of the season. Did you have some dedicated time where you could really focus on yourself without the World Cup players or the new signings that you really honed in on the specifics? Um, I think I had maybe a couple of weeks, but um, obviously it was with the rest of the girls at United. Um, but yeah, of course, like try and focus on whatever you can in pre-season that you might not be able to get the extras within the season because of loading and stuff. But um, yeah, for me, it's just about getting back in, trying to get confident again, um, just being back on the ball and um, back into the into the team and getting minutes as well. So it's much better in pre-season when you've got a game at the end of the week um, to try and implement what you've been learning in the week. And you mentioned the leadership group. Has Lucy Bronze been a mental figure for you? Yeah, definitely. I think... Lucy's probably experienced it all and um, she's she's a winner um, and I don't think there's any anyone else that's better to learn off um, than someone like Lucy and I think within this team we have a lot of lot of winners and a lot of people that have been kind of around it or even coming through now like I think the amount of young players that we have that are doing so well is, is really exciting for us as a team. Thanks Maya. Yep. Hi Maya, Sarah Dawkins from BBC Sport. Um, just a question about Spain again and the situation there. I mean, one of your teammates, uh, Lucia, has, has been called up to the squad. Um, I mean, have you spoken to her at all? Can you tell us a little bit about anything that she might have said to you about the situation? Well, I think from when I left United till now, there's been so many changes and I've not really been keeping up to date with, with everything that's going on. I've seen a little bit on Twitter, but um, yeah, I think it's just a crazy situation, but not something that I've kind of seen a lot of and um, I haven't spoken to her myself because I think I don't think she needs anyone else to speak to there's so much going on and um, as I said before um, I think we stand with them and um, we just want the best for for the Spanish team and to really um, kind of see their success and not have such a a big downer on this but um, yeah I think it's definitely going to be difficult for the players but um, hopefully they know that everyone probably in the rest of the world is with them as well. You've alluded to how much of a positive environment it is here, and and particularly as a one of the younger players in the squad, you know how how great it is to be part of 
of that team. How much of a shame do you think it is that the players in Spain, um, you know, are going through what they're going through, and that they can't really relish being part of uh, the national side and, and playing that fixtures for their country? Yeah, I think it's obviously very disappointed for them, but um, as an English player and being to camp, going to camp, and I love being on camp and the the kind of culture and the setting that we're in. Um, I think is what every national team player should have, um, and obviously it should be it should be respected. And of course, that's not that's not the case with Spain, but hopefully in years to come, um, we can all kind of be on the same playing field and. Um, yeah, it can all be a positive experience coming into camp. Hey, May, I was just going to ask about uh, Scotland because it's a pretty big fixture in, in terms of their closest neighbours, um, but also you know and have played with some of the players on, on the opposing side as well. So what do you make of that and what do you think they'll bring on Friday? Yeah, I think Scotland, England, um, it's, a, it's a game that everyone wants to be a part of and they obviously want to beat us, we want to beat them and um, it's going to be an exciting game, especially up north. Um, I think obviously they're massive football fans up there, so it's going to be a good game and um, I watched the the men's game the other day and it was it was a crazy atmosphere as well. So um, yeah, no, we're really looking forward to the game and of course we've got some good players, but I think we'll be focusing on ourselves and seeing what we can do to, to beat them. Thank you. Thanks everyone. Any more questions? Nope, then we'll leave it there. Thanks. Cheers.